So as you can see, I have a custom audience for initiate checkout for one of my stores and we've got 2,300 initiate checkouts. When I hit 1,000 initiate checkouts, I went ahead and created worldwide lookalike audiences for initiate checkouts for my store. And I created from one to all the way to 10%. But now the initiate checkouts has doubled from 1,000 initiate checkouts to 2,300. So that means the audience is probably much, much more stronger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete these initiate checkouts. Delete. And I'm gonna recreate it and basically refresh my lookalike audiences and retest those new audiences because Initiate Checkout Worldwide Lookalike Audiences did super well for me. The ad set sort of died out, but now the amount of Initiate Checkout has doubled. So that means it's just gonna be more powerful. So that's why I wanna create more lookalike audiences for them. So now I go ahead and go to Custom Audiences. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the Initiate Checkout Go ahead and create lookalike audience. Browse. I'm going to select all countries. I'm going to go six, so one to six percent. Create audience. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Create lookalike. Select all countries. I'm going to select number four this time and go from four to ten percent. Create audience and that's it it's as simple as that I went ahead and refreshed my initiate checkout worldwide lookalike audiences you could do this for the US UK I like to do worldwide lookalike audiences just because the audience is much larger and just has more potential for scale and then when I scale further I go ahead and break down all the sales in the different countries all the countries with the highest rise I create lookalike audience individually for those countries so I already created Germany initiate checkout lookalike audiences, but now since we've got more data, it went from 1000 to 2300, I might recreate those Germany initiate checkout lookalike audiences. But that's about it, that's a concept. And my testing strategy is I'm going to test all 10 of these ad sets in my testing campaign 10 ad sets, worldwide lookalike audiences, 1%, 2%, all the way up to 10%, and I'm going to set them at $20 each. And I'm going to let them run probably for three to four days. Let them hit roughly around $60. If there's zero sales by 60, I'll kill. Um, and if it has one sale, I'll probably let it run to 80. If it doesn't get a second sale by 80, I'll kill it then. Um, and then by $80 onward, if anything is unprofitable, I kill. So I do like to let my ad sets run a bit longer. And I don't kill it straight away when it hits profit margin because I've seen ad sets actually come back after being unprofitable for the first one, two, three days. And it comes back on the fourth day. But obviously, if you don't have a budget, you want to just kill it at profit margin. But that's my lookalike audience testing strategy and you just want to continue to rinse and repeat this process again and again and again so once I hit say 4,000 initiate checkouts I'm going to delete all my worldwide initiate checkout lookalike audiences and refresh it with new worldwide initiate checkout audiences and I can do this more add to cart page view purchases and you just keep on doing it again and again and again and again 